To get up and running with Room Fantasy Pack 2, all you have to do is just go to the Quantum Theory RFP2 Blueprints folder, and then you want to set a grid snapping of, say, 50. And that's pretty much it. You're ready to go. You're going to stay pretty much in this Blueprints folder 90% of the time. These are all set up to allow you to create a complete modular scene. Everything you need is just right here. So uh, in this scene, I'm going to build, uh, I'm going to make a simple building. Um, and when you're starting out, you have to decide for yourself if you're going to make an interior or not. If you are, it's best to start with the interior first to get the measurements right on the inside and then build out the exterior. Um, otherwise, if you're not going to do an interior, just go ahead and make all the exterior walls. So uh, first I'm going to start with a door. I'm going to rotate this guy. Okay, you know, I'm going to set my rotational uh, to 90 degrees there. Okay, so we have a door. Uh, I'm going to delete this floor. And these doors have some really cool options to them. Um, we're looking at the interior side now. I'm going to rotate this around to the front. And you know, um, you're going to be able to discern what's interior and exterior just by looking at the material that's applied. If you see a strip of color on the base, this is the interior side. And if you see the cornice, that's the typically the exterior side. So uh, if we go to this wall choice, we have a choice between 2 meter doors, 4 meter, and 6 meter. So with the 2 meter, we have choices of thresholds. Got a wood, different kind of concrete. We have a different door choice. Two different painted doors. You can switch up. Um, this door round 6 meter is reserved for the 6 meter round wall choice. Uh, so let's go to square 4 meters. This pretty much just doubles up those wooden doors. And let's go to the square 6 meter. And here we get a much larger, different door. Door choice A gives us uh, that one. B gives us this large wooden one. And C gives us the round one which has gaps, so make sure that you pick the round six meter wall choice. Now what's also cool is uh, every door has brass knockers applied to them and we can change that. We have circular ones, we have square, which look nice. We have a face and we have a more of a fleur pattern. I like those and I'm gonna go back to a two meter door and let's pick our door A. Okay, cool. I'm going to turn the foundation off just for now. And I just want to add uh, some, just two exterior walls just so we can set up things a little bit better. So I'm going to grab this exterior walls blueprint, rotate him, and just put him in the place. There we go. And I'm just going to duplicate him. And I'll showcase the capabilities of the walls in. Uh, in a little bit, just after this. Let's go ahead and um, set up the interior now. So I'm gonna take my light and I'm just gonna rotate it around so we can see better. Okay. Okay, in the blueprints folder we have interior walls, BP interior walls. Let's just drag that in. And I'm gonna bring him up and uh, just snap him into position. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Okay, so he's in position. You can have him like that, or we can experiment some more. The wall choice drop down gives you a choice between just straight up walls and some prefabricated room sizes. I made that snap. So this is a four by four room, but we have you know four by six, six by four. And also, um, we have a layout choice of, either, of all these rooms. So, layout A, the door is in the middle. B, the door is over there. D is a wider door. C is doors over there. E is wide open. So, you got lots of options here. And those layout choices um, pretty much are applied for all the room sizes, right? So, you can have a deep room with a wide opening or a shallow room. Looks like there's a bug I gotta fix there. Nope, actually the 4x6s don't have that. They don't have the wide mouth opening. We just have A, B, C, and D. Yep, okay. Um, so here's 10 by 4 which is a large room. And he should have... Nope. 
he only has, I think, two options, or three options, A, B, and C. Yep, okay. So for now, I'm just going to stick with uh, the small openings, because this is a small house. And we'll just do layout A. Uh, I'm going to move him over here and make a copy. And we'll just do a two meter wall. Actually, I'm going to make that a corner. We'll make this a little room. So we'll do a interior wall, inner corner, two meter. We're going to do an interiors, um, do two meter walls so the measurements uh, line up right. Okay. And I'll put that there. We'll extend this a little bit. I'll copy this room and say we'll put them over here. Give them a different layout so the door's a little offset. Why not? Okay, and this should be four meter here. Yep, okay. So we have the wall layout for our room. That's looking cool so far. Uh, let's put some floors down so we can see better. If we go to BP floors, we can just drag and drop that in there. And this is a, by default, a four meter piece, but you can change that in just a second. Let me just snap them into position. So we have four meter, we have two meter. We have two meter, which is UV'd one to one. Ah. Let's change that light angle so we can see what we're doing. You can see the difference. So here's a two meter ground that's uh, mapped one to one. Here's one that's mapped to the ideal texel ratio. We have four meter, we have two meter with a pool in it. So there's like a little bit of water in there. That's great for uh, atriums. Especially the one in the demo scene, it works out really well. And we have a 4 meter size as well. Uh, I'm just going to go with the 4 meter and just kind of drag these guys into position. Boom, we got a floor. Now, this is cobblestone. You may not want cobblestone for your interior, so I'm going to select all these floors. And uh, for floor material choice, we got a whole bunch of options here. We have mosaics, we have mud. <laughs> It's all parallax too, which is awesome. All these materials have parallax enabled. Um, so cobblestone, he's got parallax. Uh, marble, marble doesn't have parallax. Cause there's no depth to it, but it's a nice, smooth, reflective marble. Um, mosaics, um, you, know, you can select individuals and change them. So I'll do like this circular mosaic here. Um, yeah. It's really cool. Uh, all the material options you have is really cool. Uh, you also see these colorizable floor materials. Uh, these are special. Let's change that to colorizable. So what's great about these colorizable materials is that we can go into the material and change. There's three colors that are applied to these, and you can change these uh, all you like. And we have uh, the override set here. So if I pick one of these, and I can enable the material color override and then I have three options I can specify the colors here or I can use a scheme or I can grab a material from another override so uh, in this case I'm going to use the scheme and I'm going to pick peanut I don't know something crazy like that uh, Roman let's see Oasis Oasis is pretty cool enemy these are just arbitrary names I've picked for these guys but you can find something interesting. So I'll pick that pastel for that cut, okay? And if I want to match these other floor materials to that overridden one, I select them, enable the override, but then use this material from other, and I'll just sample that material, and there we go. So now, uh, it's using one material from this guy across all these floors. So if I were to change this pastel, it's gonna change them all. So, I don't know, we'll use that vanilla. 
just for the heck of it. These interiors can be changed as well. If you just select the object, change the floor material to rocky, we can make a rocky interior if you like. And keep this one terracotta. I don't know. <laughs> we can change in. Let's just do a nice mosaic in here. Okay. We can also change the interior wall material. Instead of this travertine A, we can pick travertine B. And that has its own color scheme. Concrete A, concrete B, concrete C. These are just suggested color schemes. If you want to change these, you're more than welcome to. Uh, if we go to the wall, I believe we have uh, MI travertine interior A. If we go, we can go in and just double click and change the color associations here A, B, and C so you can experiment if you like um, all colorizable materials have three colors associated with them That's uh, that goes for the exterior walls as well because some exterior walls for example um, Travertine A has a blue color to it you can change that if you like You know, we can go B and C these are just suggestions. You can change the textures and the colors all you like. Um, we'll go back to the brick. Standard brick. Yep, okay. So I'm just going to leave this as is. Let's add a ceiling. It's going to get kind of dark in here. So let's go back to the blueprints folder. And we will do interior ceiling. These are vaulted ceilings. Um, now you're gonna notice off the bat there's like a lip by default. That's just a ceiling edge trim. That's if you wanna have a opening to the sky in your ceiling. So I'm gonna just get rid of that. Ceiling choice, we have one by one, one by two, two by two, and so on and so forth. We have vaulted, you know, arched ceilings, plain arches, four meters, all kinds of different things. We have a T intersection, you know, in case you're doing some hallway or temple or underground, uh, this is these are the ceilings you want to use. So in here, I'm just going to go with a simple two by two, and I'm going to duplicate these. Now these are gilded; they have this nice brass on them. Um, we don't need to keep that. We can turn off the ceiling decal and turn off the trim decals as well. So we have something that's very plain. And uh, we should be able to change the ceiling material to travertine B, C, concrete, um, marble, if you want to get crazy. <laughs> um, i leave it up to you. Uh, if we put those ceiling decals back on, we can change those materials as well. So here's a decal material. Let's set the brass, but we can do wood. We can also change... Uh, the trim material to wood as well. So that's pretty interesting. And this also has parallax, unless it's specified. You can turn it off if you like to. So we can do elegant wood, no parallax. Um, we could do like a stone travertine color. Yeah, for now, I'll just keep it off. So here we have a basic interior, um, real simple, um, but we're not finished. We could do a lot more with this. In the next video, I'm going to add props, columns, and some uh, fresco and uh, just wall artwork to kind of enhance the detail and the look of this scene here.